Hi, so today I want to do a uh, short review. I got in a new Orange Pie Zero. Um, just came in in the mail today from China. This is the Orange Pie Zero with 512 megs of RAM. So it's functionally identical to the 256 meg version. So, um, you know, they, they box it in a box that's several times larger than it needs to be. Let's fish it out of here and uh, take a look at it. There it is. So what do we got here? You know, it, it looks identical to the 256 meg version. Uh, let's see, we'll put them side by side here. Yeah, the only difference I see is the size of the uh, memory chip. Other than that, they're identical. Nice build quality. Um, still got the H2 uh, quad-core processor on it. Um, comes with a little Wi-Fi antenna. Um, so I've got my, uh, I, I ordered this just to play with it. I've got the 256 meg version acting as an Octoprint server. Um, I'll go ahead and shoot some video on how to build this up and get Linux running on it smoothly and get a video image out of it um, in case you want to use it in local terminal mode. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the 256 meg one is 699 and the 512 meg one is 899 plus a couple dollars for shipping to the United States brings total to like 10, $12 a piece. Um, you know, Orange Pie makes several of these, but the, the primary difference is um, H2 is on the zero and H3 on pretty much everything else and the amount of RAM. And, um, you know, if you're running something like Armbian, that's A-R-M-B-I-A-N, um, you know, the guys over there have a fantastic uh, set of uh, images that'll get you up and running on Debbie and Jesse. Um, uh, I tried the Ubuntu image and Ubuntu has lost its mind. It thinks you need a web single sign-on for an embedded device. Yeah, so long Ubuntu. It's been nice knowing you. Um, that's really why I went to Debian because I don't need a single sign-on that's web enabled on an embedded $6 computer. That's crazy. Um, and there was no way around it. So. Uh, but anyway, um, you know, these are these are great little machines. Um, it has more horsepower than a Raspberry Pi is what I understand. Um, I haven't looked up the specs on Raspberry Pi, but I think it's single core. Um, I've actually got a, a Raspberry Pi 3 sitting here. Uh, you know, I can't really read this stuff anymore. Nothing terribly magical here, but you know, Raspberry Pi is a nice device. If you don't want to mess with it, and you just want it to work, you want broad support, go with the Raspberry Pi. If you're not afraid to get your hands dirty, you want the latest form factor and absolute lowest costs, um, and you go with this. Um, you know, you can also do a D1 Mini. I've got about 10 of those things on the way. Um, they should be here anytime this week, and then I'm going to start doing some neat embedded stuff with them. But for now, um, be sure to check out my other video. Um, I'm going to show how to configure this from scratch. Um, so I'm going to set this down, put this in the recycle bin. I got to hand it to them. They, they really do produce a really nice little package. Um, it's a shame I'm going to recycle it, but um, I'm going to shoot a, uh, another video that shows how to, how to um, get that configured. Oh, just for kicks and giggles, this is an Orange Pi 1 and this is an Orange Pi 1 in its case. So if you want to see the differences, this is a Raspberry Pi, an Orange Pi 1, and then an Orange Pi 0, and you can, you can see how much smaller 
um, these devices are. And I, you know, I, I apologize, camera's got autofocus on my face, so these are a little bit out of focus. Doesn't really matter. I, I just want you to see this is much smaller. This actually has um, more processing power. It does 4K video. It has HDMI built onto it. Um, and uh, it is a, it's compatible with the Raspberry Pi camera. So it's a great little device if you can plug it in. This, on the other hand, has Wi-Fi built in, and so it's great for embedded devices where you, maybe you need Wi-Fi. So anyway, um, check out my next video. I'm going to show how to build these Orange Pi Zeros, how to install the image, and how to get access to it and get going with it, um, and how to enable Wi-Fi on it. Thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to share the video, like my videos, and subscribe to my channel so you can stay tuned with my all the videos that I produce.